Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now, we have developed these all the e uh, template engines, templates we have developed it. But we have some problem. Not a problem. We have so much of repetitive code. Let's say that this doc type HTML and this including of this bootstrap file and this navigation. So these are all something like looks like repetitive code. So why can't we use the layout feature? So which is available in handlebars and some of the uh, templates they will be providing lay layout feature. So where they you can create a construct the layout and you can render the body there. So we can use those things and there are some pretty uh, template engines provided. EJS also has an uh, something like uh, libraries, express EJS layouts like that we have a plugins for the EJS. Defaultly EJS doesn't support the layout feature, but we can use the partial something like that partials thing which we can include the other party HTML, the, the, uh, which we can include the HTML into our, into our the template. Let's try to see those things. So now what I will try to do is here, here what I am trying to do is, let's say that we will do the 404.ejs file only. Here if you try to observe, this is the doc type HTML, this all up to here the head, this is all common, right? Let's try to copy this one or otherwise remove this one. And here I am creating a new folder that is nothing but includes or common whatever the name you want you can keep it and in this includes I am creating a new file head.js ejs I can include this one and I am pasting the code here so we can remove this head and HTML okay so this one it will be trying to place all the time let's remove this one and here what we need to do is we need to include here something like percentage comma and we can use it include so where it is present includes slash head dot ejs so we can include it directly so we can include it directly that's it so now if you want to add something around means you can add it. So if you want to uh, add this body and all those things also you can add it here. Now let's remove this header and navigation. Create a another file that is navigation.ejs Oh sorry. Navigation Navigation.ejs So in this navigation.djs, what I will try to do is I will go to the bootstrap. So let's go to the bootstrap here. I am opening get bootstrap. So get bootstrap. So get bootstrap.com and uh, let's go to the docs. In this docs, I want to search for navbar. So somewhere you will be able, able to see the navbar. Here we will be able to see. Uh, or otherwise you can search it here. Navbar. Let's click on this navbar and here in the components we are able to see it. Uh, let's include this navbar um, which could be feasible. Yeah, here we will try to copy this navbar and in this one we will paste this navbar. That's it. So here I can remove this anchor link and here this is the home and here we, I can add add product and I will try to remove this anchor link. So this one is something like slash products slash add. That's it. So I am trying to keep here node e-commerce. That's it. So this is our code and this is our head.ejs and I want to remove this one. So Okay, I don't want to save it. So I automatically my prettier is trying to do this one. So let's keep it like this. Okay. So here I will, I can remove this one and I will try to include here percentage hyphen so you should not give the double quote here if you try to give the double uh, double equal to uh, sorry not equal to if you try to give the equal to it will try to render the html as it is so html will not it will be rendered as a directly as a text if you give hyphen means then it will be rendered as a html template now i can use here include slash includes uh, includes sla uh, slash navigation dot ejs that's it. Now I, here I can close it like this. Now the last part we can have it directly. 
and we can give the footer.js if you want to add any footer code or anything so you here you can use this footer.ejs and here i will paste it right now we don't have any footer so going on we will try to add it and here in the main i can give dot container so in this one dot row dot column 12 like this i will add it and in this one i will use page not found which i will try to maintain it as a center and i will give my hyphen 5 or 4 something like this so here let's include includes include um, includes slash nav oh, sorry footer dot ejs that's it so here i can close this one oh sorry all the time it is coming yeah that's it so this is how we can add the template so now we are including the header and we are including the head means header means html head and here navigation and this is the body we are having okay i can remove this nav so this is the body we are having and uh, here what is this now oh, yeah main we are having and this is the footer so this is the thing which we can add it now let's try to see the output which we can see uh, see the output or not so here i am trying to use press enter so here i am able to see page not found if you try to see control u and here I am able to see all the output. So here we are getting the HTML closed and all those things. Let's try to stop that one. So here in our head.js, right? Now let's try to remove these things. I saved it. I removed the extension for my thing. And now let's see the output. Whether we can remove this. Yeah. Now here I am able to see the head is there. The body is there. Which comes. Uh, where is this one? entire thing is now 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 here the nav is closed and this main we we are introduced in the 404 and the body html is closed so this is how we can develop the page now let's go to the home page and try to do the same thing for this one also so let's go to this home page dot ejs <coughs> where is this home page yeah here and we can remove up to the here and i can add include so here i can do includes slash head dot ejs i can do it like this that's it and here we can remove this all navigation and here what i can do here i can add <coughs> include so includes navigation dot ejs and here i can add it so let's try to copy this one and here also i can add the same thing but here this time this one is a footer so now we have added here now let's try to take this one as dot container dot row dot call iphone md iphone 12 that's it now let's copy this all the code inside this call mod 12 fine so hope you are able to get the output so this one is something like like this we can place it now if i go into this home page right home page we have designed it right now let's try to see the home page if i try to refresh this page oh what happened to this one so if i try to refresh this page include slash include include slash e.js homepage.e.js so navigation these all things have been included in the homepage.ejs file this one is all is included so what is the problem we got it here i need to use the hyphen okay here i need to use the hyphen and here i need to use the hyphen if you try to use the double equal to i will try to show you what the output will come here if i try to use this one see the html as it is it is rendered here so if you don't want this html should be uh, if you want html should be rendered as html means you need to use the hyphen or otherwise those all the tags will be escaped now if you try to see the output here now we are able to get this products list product one let's try to add for the remaining things also i will copy this one all and we are having for, for this one only right let's remove this one all so include and here also i can remove this one header and here i can use navigation and at the bottom we can add footer right so footer so remaining what we are having that's it so add product home user we are not using we can delete this one so these are the products where these are the pages which we are using so like this we can use we can divide these templates and we can get included now if i try to go here add product see here i'm able to add it if i try to add it here so i'm able to get this product details okay we can design this product details also but we have only the title we don't have image price and all those things 
we can keep it as a dummy not a problem we can uh, loop over these things and we can move make it as a dummy afterwards we'll try to make it so this is how we can add the layout templates in the ej e ejs so uh, other handlebar templates and all those things have a inbuilt e layout feature so that you can uh, add directly this one it will be injected into that layout thing so but ejs has these the options or otherwise we have a third party uh, npm plugins like ejs express layout so you can use those things also right now we'll keep it as a simple so we are learning so we right now we keep it as a simple thing only this is how we can add the layouts in the ejs temple template hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you